be it. Told. Is this going to be a Ninja Zip this Pajamas is it. game? It is! And just like that, Ninjas in Pajamas, they are going to Paris. GG, well played. G Congratulations to Ninjas in Pajamas on winning the OGA Dota Pit Minor, booking their tickets to next weekend's Disneyland Major in Paris. Nip took down the Grizzle veterans from Yihong with three TI winners led by Xiao Wei and Ferrari 430. If you can, make sure to check out Game 5. It was a nail biter going past 60 minutes with back and forth action and all it took was one mistake and having no buyback, really costing Yihong the game and the championship. Now that the minor is over, we'll shift our attention to the major in Paris. Of course, it's not a Dota 2 event without some controversy surrounding it. Back on April 18, during the ESL 1 Mumbai event, following the disappointing results for a team team, the team decided to replace two of its five players. Let's get this. The founding members, IX My88, Brax, and New Carry Eternal Envy, collectively agreed to replace Gunner and Yushum from the active roster. Envy doesn't like me. Uh, I don't know about everyone else, but that's how I feel at least on the team. And that's how I felt on the last team. But it wasn't just Envy that kicked me, it was like all the three people remaining kind of like went together. But Replacing players like before a major event isn't something new, but it's yeah, definitely frowned upon. In fact, this isn't even Eternal Envy's first rodeo. When he was on Fnatic, he replaced Ohio before the ESL1 Katowice Major last year. And this year, J Storm replaced Milan with Fear before the Chongqing Major in China. Since there are no roster locks like the previous years, it is becoming a common trend for teams trying to solidify themselves as one of the top teams simply by shaking up the roster. This roster movement is special. It is officially the second time that Gunner has been kicked from Eternal Envy's team. At the start of the year, Gunner joined the Flying Penguins to play in the Dream League Season 11 Major. Unfortunately, they didn't qualify for the tournament, following that he was replaced by Rioria. However, this time around, it sparked a rant out of outspoken commentator Cal Freeman citing that Eternal Envy should do some self-reflecting on his own performance. If his team isn't succeeding, it's anyone but his fault. And part of this is probably like a bit of personal frustration because he, I was at a point told, like face to face by Jackie Mao himself, that we were very, we were the same person, but I knew how to talk to people, which is bullshit. I care about other people. And I've read a lot of fictional books too, not as much anime, but the hero of a story, they demonstrate qualities like loyalty and honor and faith in their friends. And I think it's about time that a lot of you at home stop rooting for the villain. The worst part of this situation is both players' family had booked tickets to Paris to see their kids play on the main stage. Yeah, I won't. But, uh, <laughs> My yeah. family will. So Wait, really? Yeah, what? they'll be at the major without me. You ser now. Wait, what? You serious? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. Your family bought tickets to go to Disneyland and watch you play? Yeah. And to go to Disneyland, surely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hang out in Paris. And now they're going to be there and you're not. Yeah. Rumors have it the player replacing Gunner is none other than Rioria, the player who replaced them back on Flying Penguins. As of right now, there are no official roster announcements, but he's likely to be the player playing the middle lane for Team Team. Now, making a roster change isn't always beneficial to what teams imagine. Chemistry and teamwork may not mesh in time before the event. When Jason replaced Milan with Fear, it made the team better on paper. Let's look back at the Chongqing qualifiers. Jason took out Evil Genius and Forward Gaming both 2 0 to directly qualify for Chongqing, but they ended up finishing between 9 through 12. One place better than Forward Gaming, but worse than EG, they finished in third place. On Monday, MDL released the group stages and Team Team is in the same group as Team Liquid, Virtus Pro, and Keen Gaming who just won the Mumbai event. Team Team's performance in the group stages will tell if this roster improved the team enough to secure a spot in Shanghai for the International or will it be team searching for Eternal Envy after Disneyland. Speaking of the International, Valve has started shipping the Roshan statue replacements for last year's debacle. If you reach Battle Pass level 2000, expect to get yours within the next month or so. The company said, We deeply apologize for the significant delays on these statues. We wanted to take time to make sure it was done right this time, rather than settling for an inferior product. And finally, Valve announced the dates for the International 2019. It will be hosted in Shanghai on August 20th through the 25th.